falling in love with Jesus. What's the best thing? The best thing. That's just not saying it because it just sounds good. It's, it really in my life. My life. My life. My life says. My life shows. If you don't have no God examples in your life, it's impossible for him to show up and not show up. I said it's impossible for him to be with you and you fail. It's impossible. And what happened is we, we go places and God can't, he go with us now because he say he, he goes everywhere, but he, he doesn't manifest himself. I mean, God is present right now, and you will see him now, and the person next to him won't even experience it because why? Because it's, it's a personal thing. He's there, but to manifest himself, to manifest, to show you himself. And I'm going to tell you all this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this here. This, say, say things are changing for the good. And, and, and what we're going to do uh, going forward, say going forward, we're going to get an understanding on how much God really loves us. Not, and we used to say stuff like this, Pastor Kennedy, uh, not the God of my big mama, but I want to know him for myself. I really want to know him for myself. And if we are trying to know God, like big mama knew him, we've lost the whole, the relationships are different than it was back then. They was praying, they was praying for God to deliver them from snuff. The young folks don't know what snuff is. You know what snuff is, young baby? She looking at me like snuff. That, that's that tobacco. They used to, when they would have cans, you kick it over, Lord, have mercy. Don't let that can spill on you. Oh, God. Hey. Big mama and, and 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 we would pray for things. And but God has has said, my, uh, um, He said, "Won't you see that I'll do a new thing?" Then it's not that God is doing a new thing. That's just where the writer best can describe that that he can best describe what God is doing. But God has already laid out, sisters, the treasures and what He want has already been buried out in the future for you. Okay, all you got to do is just get up in the morning, find out what God is doing, and you ain't even got to say, God bless it, because he going to bless what's his, and it's already blessed. See, we have to beg God because we didn't ask God, what you want me to do, man? So, Father, I just thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can have your seats. I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to start out uh, in the beginning and the reason I'm saying is because it's going to be imperative to get here on time. It's going to be imperative. Say imperative. Get here about, 10, about, about 15 minutes to 10 o'clock. Don't you know when you get somewhere late, especially on a job, you lose his influence, right? You, lo you lose his influence from the people who are in authority and they look at you, right? And, and technically, you are, I'm going to say this, y'all ride with me. You are hurting God. Y'all looking at me. The reason you, you're hurting, because God has put you in places to be an influence. And you can't be an influence when you don't follow the rules. You, you're taking the pencils. You, 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 you're taking the hams. And you're, you're borrowing tools from the job and never bring them back. And you, you, you're talking crazy. You don't, you don't submit to authority. You talking about leadership and, and all that, and then, then, then you wonder why, right? You wonder why God can't move in that place, right? It ain't because God can't move. You won't allow him to move. I'm, 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 I'm going to teach you a little bit. So even when the church does things, saints, see, <clears throat> when we do things in the church, right, we do things by tradition, right? It's, our, it's a tradition. This is the tradition that we do this, right? We'll act like God is offended if we don't do it. Right? The only person who's offended is man. Ezra. Ezra was staying 
in, in Ezra, in the Torah, uh, when he got up to read and he stood, and the people stood. One, they stood they stood up, so he began to read. So in our culture, in our, our, our teaching, we say stand for the word, right? And, and if you go some places, if you don't stand, they look at you crazy, right? So even here, uh, stand, stand, right? So it, it puts the emphasis on standing. And, and, and long as I'm putting the emphasis on standing, uh, the emphasis can be taken off on following what's being said. So the most important thing that you can disrespect God from is not following what he says. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say this again on this side. Some of the things that y'all feel that know that, man, is that really, why we do that? Why we stand? Why we wear this? Why we do this? Why we do that? Why we wear the collar? Why we do this? Why we have to do that, right? Does that, does that uh, make God more powerful? <laughs> you can't wear anything uh, and make God more powerful. You can't. You, you can't wear you can't do certain things. So when we start talking about the standing and the reading of the word, right, you know, we, we, uh, we, when we go places, if they stand, I would stand because that's the custom of the house. But I knew that some places I go, if I don't stand, I ain't going to hell. I'm not being disobedient to God. I'm being disobedient to you. So me being a, being a man under authority while I come to your house, Pastor Kennedy, if we stand for the reading of the word, I stand with you. But I'm knowing in my heart, I don't have to stand with you for God's word to be effective. I just follow the order. So a lot of times, we'll have traditions, mother, that we passed on, and, and it really have no effect. It has no effect of the gospel. I'm going somewhere. And, and, and when people say things, you know, um, Matthew 6 talks about, I'm, I'm going to hit this, bit, this ain't on the screen, right? It said, give us our daily bread, and it's talking about thy kingdom come, right? Thy will be done. Now, I, I said Matthew 6, threw a lot of folks out, right? It's the Lord's Prayer. That's the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6. It said, in 9, uh, it say, for the matter of therefore prayer, I pray ye, our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Somebody say, Thy his will be done. Where? On earth and where else? As it is in heaven. So the kingdom that he's talking about there is earth. That heaven shows up on earth. And a king, there's no kings in church. There's no, that's not a church term. That's not a church term. Kingdom is not a church term. Kingdom has a king. There is no kings in church. Society is talking about the culture. It's talking about outside taking over the kingdom. He wants his kingdom to come to earth and not just the church. I'm talking now. I'm talking. So a lot of times people talk about king, the kingdom, right? That's a term that they use and the reason he came. They said during that, this, that period, the reason he came because why? Because they was under Roman authority and that the word of God could be easily understand because the Roman government was the closest thing that they could see that could match the kingdom, the kingdom he was trying to teach. So that's the best, that's the best that he could describe the kingdom. That's the best that we could understand. See, the only thing that blocks us, right, that could block us is our understanding, right? He's saying all you're getting, get a work. And reason, the devil, the devil don't mind you coming to church. He don't, listen, he ain't outside uh, your house and on your bed post. He's not. What he does, though, he say once they get it, he say he crouched, the scripture say he's crouched at the door. What am I trying to say? He can't stop you from getting the word. He can't stop you, Pastor. He cannot stop the word getting to you, right? But what he does is he sits outside the door waiting to shake you down. Come on now. So that's why we have to have an understanding when we leave here versus just feeling good, right? Uh, naming it and claiming it, blabbing and grabbing it, because I'm going to tell you right now, right, you can blab all you want, ain't nothing to grab. Talking to somebody right there, right? So, so when we start talking about 
So when I'm preaching from here out, as best as I can do, I'm, I'm going to give you a list of scriptures because in the old days, the reason that the, 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 the Pastor Mark, I have Pastor Mark read, he reads well, he, he's clear, he, he, he's precise. Also, it gives a chance to even participate in the part of the service, right? It's being used, all that, right? But why they used to use that is because in the old days, the preachers could not read. So their wives or whoever in the family or in the church that could read will read and he will preach. Okay? A lot of times we are putting things on the screens and we're doing certain things because it's tradition. Why? Because uh, 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 before everybody didn't have or couldn't keep up in the Bible and find the scriptures and do all that. Right now with a phone, you can say Matthew uh, 6 and 10, 6 and 9. You can go whoop, 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 whoop. You can do all that. The problem, what we I see now, when I'm falling on some passages, that they go so fast, I can't take my notes. So why, why do you take notes, Pastor, Pastor Powell? So when I leave here, right, I can go back, reread the word, and let it soak in. Used to be, we used to have CDs for sale. You know, it would help out. A lot of ministry made pretty good. It would help us out a little bit. That's it. But I ain't, I ain't got a CD in my car player. Now, uh, old, 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 my partner Nate, uh, Michelle's husband, uh, the, the fabulous Lockett brother. Y'all heard of the fabulous? I told my who told y'all y'all was fabulous? Y'all just named y'all self that. I'm messing with him. And, and, and he said, man, take this CD. I said, man, you know, a lot of times we just take stuff. Oh, man, I, man, I, no, man, I ain't, I ain't even got no CD player. What I'm gonna do with this CD? We got to become relevant to time so we can be effective. I wonder how many CDs did he copy? I'm just telling the truth. See, sometimes when you have a conversation, people start thinking, it's not, it's not how many answers you get, because answers will widen you, right? Right? But questions will deepen you. I'm six two, six one and a half, right? The taller you get, the easier it is to push you over if you're not six feet deep. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I want to be six feet two, but I want to be a thousand feet deep. Grounded. There are trees that, trees that their root go so deep, that African tree, it grows so deep. See, a lot of times we, we get tall and we, we look good, but when you leave here, you're easily pushed over. You're easily tripped up. You're easily confused. Why? Because you don't have a good, strong foundation on how the world really works. Okay? So my main job is, when you come on Sunday morning, my guy, when you come, I'm going to preach to you today. Can I, can I talk to you? When you come today, my guy, my job is to make sure when you leave, you're more effective. You're more equipped. You are bigger, better, and bolder by faith. That terms seems to be just a cochlearism that we made, but the gospel really say in, in Genesis, be fruitful, multiply, increase, be bigger, better, and bolder by faith. By God, every day you should get bigger, better, and bolder by faith. Every day you should get taller, sharper, harder. Every day while you on this side of the earth, you should be getting more knowledgeable. You should get nicer, more understanding, more by faith. So not, not that I get old and unry, I get old and smooth. I get more older and understanding. Listen, see, we speak things and we, 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 we ride with it. Somebody said ride with it. With no understanding, don't ask no question. We just what mama said. That's what big mama said. That's what my people said. And half the time what they're saying is nowhere near the truth. It just sounds good. It's a cochlearism. It's, it's, what, it's what they heard. So when we talk about Proverbs 23 and 7 says, for as he thinketh, he might say thinketh. Well, as a man thinketh. Right? That's all I used to say. Then we come to the conclusion that there's a word missing, Sister Glory. As he thinketh in his heart. Right? And then we say we got, we, we, we won up on that. We come bigger, better, better. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Then we don't go to the next stage and say, a heart don't think. A heart don't think. What it's saying is that 
out of the issues of the man's heart flows many issues. So really it's talking about how your process, how you flow. So it ain't what you said, it's how'd you come up with what you said. So if I can figure out your process of thinking, if I can figure out how did you come up with the answer? Teach me how to come up with the answer. You can give me several and different kinds of problems, and I know how to come up with the right answer. Because every, every answer don't apply to every question. Because the situation changes. The situation changes. You know, well, why did you get that car with 22% interest? Darvin would ask. Well, I, I had bad credit. I had to get to work tomorrow, and I was sitting there, and, 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 and the guy said he's going to do it for 23% interest. Man, look here. Uh, I'm going to get bigger, bad, and bolder. I'll never do it again, right? But this is the hand that I was dealt. So, so I want to have two, three, no percent interest, but at that time, so when people are talking, you got to find out what condition, how did you get here? Because you'll say stuff like, I'll never do that. No, you don't know what situation that person was in to what they done. So stick around and ask a few questions. Then you find out where they at, I can take you where you got to go. We'll never be here again. We'll ne so I don't make you feel bad about the 22% interest. I, I make you feel convicted means that I ain't supposed to have 22% interest. I'm supposed to have no interest. I'm supposed to be the head. I'm supposed to be the lender. Matter of fact, when I can get the loan, I should be doing loan. That's another mindset. Bigger, better, and bolder. And the reason folks don't get no bigger because they think they're already big enough. It's too many big folk, grown folk. You uh, uh, Ray Kroc said in his book, Green and Growing, he said, you, see, once you're grown, you start rottening. You should constantly stay green and growing. Look, hallelujah. You should constantly, listen, Michael Jordan, dunk crazy, bad. He was one of the baddest ball players at that time. But how do you know that he didn't get beside himself? He was humble. Matter of fact, people say he wasn't. But Michael Jordan was humble. Why? Because he kept wanting to get better. To win that many championships, you have won one and retired. One, two is done. Hallelujah. Somebody say bigger, better, and bolder. I need you to provoke me to righteousness, the right step, the right standards. This is changing, it's changing, it's changing, it's changing. So even when we get into the, I, I want you to write down Ephesus. Um, I'm sorry, Ephesians 5 and 1 through 20. I'm going to talk about that in the next couple of weeks. We're going we're gonna to have school. Okay? Ephesians 5, 1 through 20. Write that down. Put in your notes. I want you to read over that. It talks about, really that's talking about how the world works and how we go out into the world. The bond service is not, a lot of folks say that that's, when they talk about the Bible, okay, was okay with slavery. No, it's not. It's talking about how the world, going into the world, really works. How you are to, his kingdom is to come. His kingdom, can't, you can't be uh, King Kong up in here. You'll be, you ought to be King Kong out there in the purpose, listen, in the field, in the purpose that God has called you to. You are called to be the best of the best. Listen, you're called to be the best in what you're going outside this wall to do. You, listen, I'm a call to help you be the best that you can be, Darvin, outside these walls. Everybody's trying to be big up in here. We make you big to go out there and take over his, his kingdom come so his will can be done. We complain about stuff. We, we complain about the job. Don't you know that's why you put your armor on to go in the job, the job setting? I've had a surprise birthday party. Don't know if it was a surprise or not, but it was a birthday party. Mama, they said, Mama, like a, a specter gadget, uh, uh, she'd be investigating, looking all around the places she ain't never looked at. She called the folks trying to trick them. But I said, Boy, she wears some Perry Mason. Tricking folks and, and, and interrogating them and threatening them and them. What's going on? I tell you what, if you don't tell me, Mama, I double the interest on that money you owe me. That's how she was, what's she do? But the whole time, they weren't even doing nothing wrong in my sight. But, but, but every time they get ready to do something, they say the pastors are here, right? The pastors are here, right? And listen, if you're a pastor and you can't go around the family and be a light, 
If your skin that thin, that a cuss word, tear your spirit up, you ain't got the right spirit. Come on, how you going to witness to some people that they ain't coming? How you going to get them in the church? You got to go there. You so holy, separate yourself. That's not, we are called to go in now, right, and change the temperature. Elevate the people. Hey, hey, Y'all in this head. Don't make them feel bad. See, we are called to influence and persuade them. That's how we make the, I lead by influence, Pastor. Right? We want to force them, my title. Right? I'm the man. You ain't the man. Right? You ain't the man. It's called influence. The kingdom of heaven is influence. He say, follow me. God don't make you do it. He don't put, he don't knock you in the head. God, God why you just didn't make Adam and Eve and, and do that? And why'd you do that, right? Because God say, I want to influence them. I don't want to make you marry me. <laughs> And also, I don't want, a choice ain't one. A choice is at least two. I ain't got no choice that ain't but one. Most folk don't want you until somebody else wants you. You know how it is. Soon as somebody else gets you, then they can hey, oh no, when I was by myself. I'm like, Rick, what that guy said, Mike Jones. My John told him, mm, you know me now, I don't get on. I told him, back up now. I ain't always been bow legged with these gray eyes and 6'5. Uh, so the Bible talks about in Ephesians, I'm just going to hit it a little bit because I'm getting down to my message. Say, get to your message, Pastor. I'm getting to the message because I, I want you guys to understand that these are scriptures I want y'all to, to, to write down because where I'm going, it's going to mess you up, but it's going to mess you up to get. To, to let you up. And really what I'm saying, it's going to release some people. This message is going to release some people because you thought you was crazy. I'm going to connect the dots. I'm going to connect the dots so you understand where your ministry is. Your job is not a job. It's your ministry. It's an opportunity to God to move in those places, right, so you can be an influence. People don't follow you to church because you ain't no good worker. You're not law. Listen, they follow you because you solving problems. And don't tell me my birthday. I don't need you to prophesy my birthday. Tell me some stuff that's going to solve my problem. And then I'll respect you and I'll have you elevated. But we want to talk about the man don't understand that. He understand get to work on time. Finish the project. Stop gossiping. Stay at the bathroom. You a man of God, I couldn't tell. They should be able to tell. Talking to somebody here, right? He said not to be eye service. That means that around the corner, in front of them, you say one thing. Around the corner, you say something else. And can I tell you something pretty serious, right? Do y'all know the person you're talking to, go tell everything you're saying. I'm going to say it again. You know, my friend ain't your friend. So when you tell me, I'm going to tell my friend. And my friend going to tell their friend. And then they come back around. You done told my friend over here. Then my friend tell me. Right? And then you sitting there asking for favors and doing stuff right when I'm knowing you really don't like me anyway. Right? Jealous is one thing. You, you jealous of what I got. Envy is you don't think I should have it. You don't think I deserve it. And I don't. Right? But I got it. He, Lawrence don't deserve it, but he got you. Ain't he right, Brother Paulette? And he keeps saying he got an arm around you. Yeah, he, he, yeah. he getting that leg right. You say you, you better keep up. You getting old on me now. Pardon me, Paul, listen, you keep hopping around here you want to. I'm getting younger. Come on now. Listen, listen. That's what you got to tell them. Keep it up. Listen, I'm telling you, you're supposed to be getting younger and younger. That means that the day is supposed to be the worst day 
of your life that you're going to have. Every day should get better. Why? By this word I'm getting, I'm going to go to, I'm leaving here tomorrow, and I'm going to be more effective. Monday morning, you should be like a, 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 a if you work Monday morning, y'all know what I'm talking about. Get to, get to understand it. Pastor Kenny, you both be like a lock. God should be able to launch you out there and say, go. Change the earth. Change the prison system. Change how they do things. And the only way you're going to change things, mama, is be in the ring. For we wrestle. Not against the folks at church. I never seen more folks hurt in church. They really don't even go to church. You're not around long enough to be getting hurt. Don't know you long enough to be hurt. You was hurt when you got here. You was hurt when you got here. Yes, you was hurt when you got here. This, this church didn't hurt you. Right? Oh, you hurt me. Ah! If you can't take this, how are you going to go out there in the job? How are you going to tell God to elevate you in, in the palace with Pharaoh who ungodly, you're going to see all kind of stuff in the palace, and if you got thin skin, you're going to quit that too. Moses is growing up in the palace. I'm talking to somebody. When you go places, your job, God has called you to move and change city hall, Melissa. You are called to help change city hall. And you get, boy, they crazy. Yeah, they crazy down there. That's why God, God got you down there. Because why? When I bring in people or people in the ministry, good folk doing things, right? You know what the devil going to do? The people, the devil going to use the people, right, to do crazy stuff, right? They, I'm, we getting them saved and changing them too. But don't you know, this ain't a perfect, there is no perfect place. There is no perfect place. There, oh, that church. What church you going to go to? Let me know so I can pack up and go with you. Come on now. Pastor Kennedy, we are here because we want to be here. And if you listen, you can change your situation. I got the ability to say, turn down the temperature. Turn the temperature up. Debbie keep turning it up, though, when I ain't looking. That's why we be sweating up here, because Debbie could get cold back there. And they, Steve and them just catered to her more than do me. I told I'm the pastor. Cut that, cut they cut it down, and then they cut it back up. That's, obey, that's obedience. With a spirit of disobedience, ain't it? Amen. That's what we be spreading, Pastor Kennedy. It'd be hotter than on it. So don't give. Listen, listen, saints. I'm gonna tell you something. Ain't no such thing as church folk. They work at McDonald's on the front counter. They work at IBM. Right? Like, you're a fool here, you're a fool there, you're a fool there, you're a fool here. You're the same person. You're the what's in you. Right? Your process of thinking. What's your man thinking in his heart? It's out of the issue. How you process it, you process it the same way. They messing with me. They're not messing with you. You're supposed to be to work on time. We wear blue, shoe, blue shirts here. Wear your blue shirt. Stop, stop trying to do stuff like I don't want. I, listen, listen, stop fighting the system and take over the system. Then you can say, wear what you want to wear. But right now, show your obedience to God. You want folks to listen to you, but you don't listen to nobody. Everybody got a boss. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Everybody got a boss. I listened to, I was looking at that clip from, uh, what's that, Cooley, not Cooley High, but they were singing, uh, what's the actor in there? Um, had that high school, he was trying to turn that high school around. Had that bull horn. Lean on me. And he went up in there, and that, what the brother name told him, said, contrary to popular belief, I'm the in charge. That was a revelation. And he got done. See, we ain't gotta, we ain't gotta die. We ain't gotta follow Pastor Kennedy. Well, let's go to lunch. Let's go to lunch. We ain't gotta die. Listen, listen, the truth do hurt sometimes. Right? Because, you know, you gotta conform, you gotta change. He used to run a thing. He said, oh, uh, what you're doing, to, saying about them, you're doing it to me. I used to whoop my son, Anthony. He was getting whooped him, and I would sit down and start cracking jokes with him. Betty thought we was crazy. My wife said, boy, if you don't thank me, I wouldn't be talking to you. I ain't talked to my daddy for weeks. I said, this ain't personal. This is about growth, right? 
This is about growth. This is about moving. This, this is about, so when you go out in the world, amen, they ain't got to hit you. They ain't got to. I, I wish I could get some whoopings in there. I wish when I got old, I would have I would have just had to get that whooping instead of taking my money. I wish, tell me I wish that you can cut that spanking or whatever. It only lasts. It's called how low you hit. You know what I mean? Uh, talking about something getting whooped. But what I'm telling y'all is, this God is, you come to church, saints. Listen to this. So when you go out in the world, you can do what God called you to do and walk in your purpose. Come on, influence the people, mother. Mother, you want to influence, you are influencing me. I follow you, you come because you want to come. Then nobody put no bullet to your, no gun to your head. You come, I want to follow you, why? Because you're going somewhere. Follow nobody ain't going nowhere. Follow nobody don't want to submit. I submit, that means I expect you to submit. Come on now. Come on now, until we take over the system, until I become the boss, until I can make the rules. But right now, who's in charge? Y'all listen to y'all getting this down, all right? Boy, y'all, I ain't even getting tired of my, I ain't getting tired of my message yet. I'm just trying to set the stage. He said, put on your whole armor. He said, for we do not wrestle. Somebody say wrestle. Wrestling is the sport. He ain't talking about WWF. We, we're talking about Back then, they would spoil together. They would fight. They would it'd be blood. They would fight to death. They would fight either other gladiators. Uh, and then, and then, then they would fight to death or they would fight other beasts. And, and Paul said, this was, Paul said, I fought the beast in Ephesus. First, he said, I was fighting the beast in Ephesus. Paul, what beast did you fought, right? Paul, Paul said, I fought the beast in Ephesus. Whenever you hear the devil has something going on. I assure you, he didn't create it. The devil cannot procreate nothing. He can't think of nothing. He can't come up with no ideas. Listen, the devil cannot procreate. He can't have no babies. He can't have, listen, he can't do none of that. What he does, he watched the kingdom of God and he copied it. He's a copycater. He's an emulator. He comes to steal. Why? Because he ain't got it himself. You got to hear what I'm saying. So if, 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 if Paul talks about the beast in Ephesus that he fought, there are four cherubims, that's Kenny, that, that, that they talk about on the ark. There are four cherubims that they, they talk about. The four cherubims, the four, one fell, but they had four more cherubims. One, one had the face of a lion. Somebody say lion. The other had the face of an eagle, symbolizing an eagle. The next one had the face of a man. Somebody say a man. The last one had the face of an ox. The one thing you don't see, you don't see Cottrell is folks talking about, I want to be an ox. They always want to be an eagle, the soaring eagle. The, Flying high. Look up above everybody. They always want to be a lion, a lion, the king of the jungle. God uses them as a symbol. Somebody says a symbol, right? But what I wanted to be was the man. Somebody said I want to be the man. The man, when they, when they call you, you're the man. What that mean in the world? You're doing something. You making stuff happen, right? But the part that you don't ever hear about is the ox. What do you mean? The ox. The title of the message is I want to be big and sexy. Being big and sexy. Big and sexy. Somebody say big and sexy. Big and sexy. Say it. Big and sexy. I want the ox. The ox, you can sow all you want to. If you don't know how to plow or have somebody plow in the field, right? The seed do not germ germinate. It do not. Big and sexy is, the big and sexy means, I'm on your team, Pastor Kennedy, and I want you to be successful. I want you to win. I want your family to win. I'm supporting you. I ain't hating on you. I want you to win. I want you to win. I want your life easier. I want you to sleep better. I want you to have room to, to breathe. Listen. Listen, and then, then, then when you're helping somebody, you get your ox, and I got me an ox, you got your ox, and they're doing the same thing for me. 
What I'm saying is, until you take care of that which is another man, you will never get your own. I've never had a disobedient, crazy employee leave and be successful. Never. 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 And until you are doing your work, you'll never find. When you're doing your work good, you'll figure your purpose out. I don't know my purpose. Do that work right, and it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Moses had to serve a man in the palace till he found out what his work was. Joseph served. How many? Served everybody. And then he found out what his purpose was. Potiphar and Potiphar house. When you start serving, if you don't know your purpose is, do your work well. Walk around here complaining. Talk about you want to be an entrepreneur because you're tired of working for somebody. Well, who's going to work for you then? You're going to have a, a, a business with no employees? How am I going to tell you I don't want nobody, I don't want to work for nobody, but I want you to work for me? Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all. That, that, I like that. I like that. Say it again. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Keep on saying it. I keep talking. Because I'm telling you right now, y'all think that y'all coming to church to look good. If the worship team don't show up, long as God show up. If the, listen, listen, if the sound don't come on, long as God shows up. L listen, listen, I come here to get a word, listen, so I can leave here and walk in my purpose, amen. Listen, I love being a preacher. I love teaching, right? But if ain't nobody being taught, I am not in purpose. If nobody getting better, I am not in purpose. Listen, it's a demand on your life, right? So there can be a demand on my life, and he can keep pouring into me. The reason you haven't got revelation because you've been pouring in the wrong people. Why give somebody something they're going to waste? God does not waste. You and, Listen, the writer writes, Pastor Kennedy, that your cup go overflow. I'm not a cup. I'm a pipe. I'm a flow through. God, flow through your blessings. You ain't got ain't that gonna overflow, right? Because as soon as I get it, I'm gonna be just like you. I'm gonna pass it through. Yeah, both are shot about right there, mama. I got the mamas over there. And then you don't know what the four beast is. When we start talking about things, we're looking at, we're trying to fight people. We're trying to fight Trump. Trump ain't the problem. The system is the problem. The reason Trump can do what he's doing because the system is corrupted. You fix the system, that would have never made it through. So we are trying to fight people instead of trying to fight a systemic system. And the only way you fight the system is you get involved with the system. You sow money in the system. You want the politics to win? Give them some money. You can't talk about nothing if you're not involved. If you're a fighter, da da David, Darwin, you're a fighter. And I remember... Uh, Mayweather, and I remember uh, when, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the fighter? Uh, Mike Tyson. Right? Made a lot of money. But he ain't made a quarter fighting on the corner. But right? he got in trouble. See, and Saints want to fight on the corner. We want to fight everywhere but in the ring. You want to fight somebody, you big and bad, go in there and fight them. Go fight who you call to fight. You ain't called to fight that Saint sitting over there. You, if you win what you get, you don't get nothing. We don't fight unless there's a reward. What you fighting for? Maybe may, well, they don't come to me and walk and fight me. He can say, what am I going to get paid? We, 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 fight, we fight on Facebook. Stuff that ain't even true. Why you, why you respond? It, there is four Gospels God talked about Jesus. The number four. There are four Levites that carry the ark. The four systemic system that you'll fight the enemy. So now God sets up his system. The devil don't want you to be the man. He don't want you to soar like an eagle. He don't want you to be, have the symbol of a lion. You know why? Because he don't want you to be the man first. Right? And the way he stops you from being a man, there's no order in our life. 90% of the folks I mentor, 90% of the folks, I'm talking about they are bad, got business and whatever, right? Behind that door, organization, structure, is tore up from the floor up. <clears throat> Do y'all hear me? Behind the door to the glory. It ain't that you can't decorate, can't sew. 
but I got to get organized. Right? And we'll say stuff, Pastor Kendi, when, when my credit bad, it ain't about credit. When I ain't got no money, it ain't about money. <laughs> out of the big six things, out of the big six, out of the big six are run, that big six, we call them, right? God is number six and he's the center. God is the center of everything, right? So of the other five, neither one are more important than the other. And we got health in there. We got money, relationship, spiritual growth, all that, right? Because let, let me tell you why y'all said, man, health is important. Health is important, baby. Health is important. Health is important. But if you ain't got no insurance, you will die from something that could be curable. If you can't afford the medication, right, if you can't eat healthy, if you can't live in the right places, right, you will die from living in the wrong places. There are folks that are dying. Talk to me. So even if I talk about health, I can't put too much emphasis on health. It can't keep a relationship. I can be the healthiest person around. Pat can teach you how to live forever. If I could, ever. I use the word forever. The only thing eternal in that circle, Pat Kennedy, is God. Right? Really. I, I'm going to tell you. You can't tell a secret. You can. I, and I'm, I ain't trying to compare this to a car. But a car is temporary. A house is temporal. Y'all believe it, right? Do you know life is temporal too? All this going, listen, Paul said, all this going, we die tomorrow. To put everything in perspective, for real. Somebody said, for real, for real. So when we're fighting the beast, you want to be big and sexy, Pastor Kenny, we got to get organized. We got to get structure. When we leave here on Monday morning, we got to have a plan for where we're going. When God was sending out a plan, he would do it by keeping. He would give them the fine. He would give them order how to build the ark. They didn't just go out there. Let me go, out, let me go down to Home Depot. <laughs> he gave them a map. God has given us a road map. And what the enemy do, what the enemy do, right, he throw in illusion and lies, and we'll say, it ain't all about that. When we are down and we can't do something, we try to hold our breath underwater instead of going, learning how to, I got to learn how to breathe underwater. I got to learn what I'm not. I got to sit here being, I'll never be as good as you are in that, right? But I got to understand. I got to understand every facet of the ministry. Even though I'm not a prophet, I prophesy. Even though I don't like traveling, I have to go out and evangelize. Right? We have to understand every facet, because I can't be all that. If I am, I'll be God. So I have to submit. Learn. Submit to folks in that area that God has called. So when you leave here tomorrow, right, when you leave here today, when you walk out these doors, the devil will be crushed at that door. And just because you made it, just because you made it, Elder, doesn't make it right. The problem is we made it. The problem is you're you trying to live off a miracle. You're trying to be, in, see, we need to be amphibious. Amphibious glory is that you can talk in this church and you can go downtown and talk to the banker. You can talk banker talk. I can talk politics. I don't mix it. You better mix it because they're making the laws. They understand blessing out of favor. They understand here's my account. I put money. See, y'all, saints, please understand. The enemy wants you to be blinded so you can't be effective. You can't have no the, Listen, the, the thing that the enemy don't want to happen is, is your business to flourish, right? Because then you can affect more people. You can grow bigger. He don't want that to happen. That's why he fights you. So that's what you got to have your whole armor on. When you go to work, put on your whole armor. Don't come up in here with no armor on. Church is the place where I come to get my teaching. Hallelujah, come on, give me some music. The band is on this thing anyway. Come here, hold up, don't play. Give me three of y'all. Three of y'all come up here. I would do it down there, but I know the, the cameras and stuff. I'm coming home. I'm coming, stand to your feet.
the arena, we're supposed to, let me get three. Can I get three? Well, matter of fact, let me get three up here on the stage. Y'all going to keep playing. Y'all keep playing. Give me three. Yeah. Real fast, real fast. No, they ain't going to believe you no ball player, no athlete, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on, big man. You been... Come on, come on, stay for a minute. Yeah, you're going to be famous. Come on, we're going to make you. You're going viral. Hope you ain't got no child support in there, no, Nana. Lord, I can't go in there, stay there. Baby, mommy, look for, she been looking for me. Principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness, spiritual weakness in the arena. This, the, the thing he's talking about, saying politics, the economics, culture and religion. You see the devil shows up in culture. See, when they say it's a black thing, Darwin, that can't be true. You know why? We, we don't, I'm not going to allow you to say it's a black thing. It's a cultural thing. Because I can't change being black. I can't make black no better, but I can change the culture. Economics, our economic. If we can change the economic automatically, if we can change our economic order, did they ever know if I can keep you economically in a disadvantage? Political. We got folks that, listen, it's laws that you guys, how many of y'all, how many of y'all are, 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 are 40 and over, 45 and over, 50? The, Dean, the laws you're seeing passing now, if you would have said that 10 years ago, you wouldn't believe it. You just say they're lying. They'll never vote that in. Am I right? The stuff that they're saying is okay now. And I ain't saying just okay. The stuff that they are putting laws and rules behind it. You come and get it right, but there you getting that word. We ordain him as a minister. Where do he minister at? He go out there and minister out there in the world. And we teach you how to communicate. We teach you your weaknesses. We make them your strengths. We make them, we, 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 we teach you how to get you 12. Teach you how to get folks around you to have your heart, the vision. Some of them, and you might have one Judas in the bunch. You have a few Judases, right? But don't, 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 be, don't be dismayed because if you act, you do what you're supposed to do, he'll hang himself. Don't stress, just stay focused. And you can know they're you can know they're not, but they're gonna help you get to where you're going. Every, that, what they're saying is that and I'm glad because if all the 12 disciples was perfect, I try to pick a perfect team. And when I see something ain't perfect, I fire them. Thank goodness God didn't do that to me. So when you go out in the world, man, I gotta be straight up because you know why? The world ain't gonna play with you. This ain't the real world. At home, it's the real world. Food just don't come in the back of the refrigerator. You can't just, my, listen, out in the world, you know what I'm talking about. How old are you? 33. Oh, you know the world. It's different, ain't it? I want you to be prepared so when you step out of the house, because you're ready to move. But you, I want you prepared, not ready, prepared. I was ready at 16. But I wasn't prepared. We want you prepared for the world. So when you go out there, you never gonna have to bounce back. Ain't no, see, sometimes I bounce back, you may not bounce back. That's the problem. We're not prepared. And so when the team, I'm talking to my team here, right? This is my team, guys. The, I'm gonna send them to the, we got, we practicing. See, we never even practice good credit at home. We never talk about the, the intricate things about money. We never talk about relationships like that. We never, we talk about relationships when it's all messed up. As a man, young man, growing up, boy, hey, this is the kind of, this is the kind of uh, female you're going to pick. This is how God wired you. This is what you're called to. So when you leave home, I love you, son, and this is what you're good at. You're not walking around the world looking, oh, you should know your purpose when you leave home. You should know your purpose before you were born. The, listen, the other ethnic groups, had, I'm going to have me a baby. That was, that was Venus and the Williams sister said, he said, look, I'm going to have me two more babies, and they're going to play tennis. He got his teeth knocked out on the court. The game knocked his teeth out because he said, my daughter's going to play here. They knocked his teeth out. What I'm telling you is right. You're trying to be big up in here. Be big out there. 
Get your folks ready. So wherever you go, man, you go to California, wherever your feet land, Whatsoever your feet hit, it's going to prosper. Whatever you touch, going to be blessed. It used to be a secular job. When you walk in there, it now become holy ground. The company is blessed because you are there. See, the hall ain't supposed to be the same. The prison system, the correctional system, ain't supposed to be the same. McDonald's ain't supposed to be the same. How am I going to have influence with the folks in the system when my stores are raggedy? We got to have the best numbers. And God said, I'm not going to go where you won't go. I'll send you and be with you. But if you won't go, why should I go? Every area, healthy, sharp, Mr. Moe. I want to be just like you. See, that's why they want to be like the dope dealers in the drug. Don't get mad. Why? Because they're out there showing. Show me something. Show me something. Show me. Listen, and so when I walk out, partner, when you see me, I'm walking with a giant head under my arm. Goliath's head is under my arm, and the blood is running down my leg. You can say, that's my daddy. That's my daddy. That's my, he killed the giant. He killed the giant that was on our family. He killed the giant. He's a, listen, and then I got influence over the whole country. You want influence? Kill some giants. Not kill one another. So I'm, 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 I'm preparing y'all, right? And we listen, don't show up to practice, don't show up for the game. What we practice is what we do. We talk about it, we read it, right? Because the devil is going to be sitting outside that door waiting to take the wisdom, the knowledge, the wherewithal when you leave here. That's what they're going to do. You got greatness in you. You got, you got greatness in you, you're here. But I need to get greatness out of you. I need to get greatness out of you. Pastor Kenneth, I got to get greatness. I'm talking about I don't know where you come from, but I want to know what you know. The family, having the family. Really, we got to have all that. We need all, I need all y'all. We got to be sharp, smart, rich, and in good health. I wish that you should have be well and in good health. That means that I'm, listen, we supposed to be, listen, God is looking for some models. Top model, let him show. God is looking for somebody that he can put on display. He want to be able to use you and say, that's my son. That's mine now. That's, <laughs> he with me. Look at it. When he walked down there, God said, that's mine. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. We're not supposed to walk around here with our head all down, all purple, always going through. Come on through. Y'all like that. I don't want to mess y'all up because once you hear it, once you start seeing it, and don't mess around here, you start walking out, folks going to say, man, what you doing? What's that, what's that rapper said? God did it. Who, there, you know a lot of rappers. Who that rapper said God did it? Three. Dre, I don't know Darren know all this. Minister Darren know all the rap. And you wouldn't think he would. Him and all West, they be like, He's, even the rapper said, God did it. You can, listen, Pastor Kenny, you ain't got to worry about being humble. We know you ain't that smart. You couldn't have thought this up. So you got to, God, God, I was talking to a pastor. I called and I prophesied over his life Friday. Friday, I'm talking to him. I said, this is what God told you. I had told him before he went for the job. He was going for a job uh, uh, over the whole airport. Now, they have no experience. No, I said, man, you better go and try for that. Why? I said, we're going to know it's God. Because we know you ain't qualified. Got the job. Doing a phenomenal job. So the man, I said, man, I called him called him this weekend. God gave me the revelation. He really kind of kind of helped mentor him. I said, listen, man, I start talking about the ox. I'm talking to you. You got to stop cowering down. Well, God did it. We know God did it. God working through you. The contractor told him, 
Say, you got to start. You walk into the meeting, man. Do you know when you walk into the meeting, the whole room light up? This is the man funding a lot of the projects for the whole airport and doing this stuff, right? You know how much money to go through the airport, dog. You know, right? He said, he said, he said, you got to stop doing this. The kingdom of God is not a poor man religion. It's not a pope. It's God. Listen, God is the God of everything. All of it is here. You just got to ask for it. Our team, when I dispatch y'all, bigger. I want better. I want you to get better. I want you to get bolder. I want you, whatever the craft, I want you to study it. I want you to Google it. I want you to practice it. I want you to get around folks with that same burning. Want to do right. Want to be better. That stuff you be seeing, that stuff you be talking about, God said, I can get it for you. But he's going to get it for you right. He's going to get it. Just follow his steps. Listen to his word. God will give it to you. He'll give it to you. And I ain't going to say you deserve it. We won't deserve it. You never deserve it. He'll give you stuff you don't deserve. He'll give you stuff you know. You, listen, you be embarrassed. You pull up and you say, God did it. Say, God did it. Come on. And say, I'm, I'm, I'm finna. The gang, we going to the gang. This practice here. We all practice in the day. This practice, right? You got to practice medicine, practice your praise. Now I'm going to dispatch y'all into the real game. I'm, I'm sending y'all to the real world. And I got to tell you what's going to be your bout. What sector you going to be in. Some going to be in marketing. Some going to be in government. Some going to be in real estate. Some going to be in the teaching sector. Some going to this industry. Whatever industry that God plants you in, you my agent. You're undercover. They ain't going to know what they hired. They don't know what they promoted. When, when you show up, you're going to be like Joseph. When, you, when they come to get you, they're going to say, we got a problem we can't solve. Mr. Moore, can you solve this problem? Can you fix this thing for me? And Mr. Moore said, I've been praying already. And they said, I can't do it unless God give it to me. But hold on, let me go talk to him. And when he come back, he got the answer. You are the answer. Y'all should be shouting right now. Listen, you are the answer. You're the, listen, you're the cure. Come on, y'all shout y'all way down the aisle. Go on and shout one time before you get here. That boy got some, got some Versace's on got them Versace's on. Listen, saints. This is, Pastor, this, this just faith. I'm just doing a prefix over it. We gonna, y'all come, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how to bridge the gap and understand. God has called you. Then we ain't gonna have to fight over what's going on in the church. We gonna be setting up stuff. The, the, the stuff that we're doing now in the church, God is causing, listen, because God don't move in one dimension. He moves in every area of your life at the same time. So when God gets you to straighten up stuff here, mama, you're already doing it over here. I promise you, you're going to become what you're not. The altar is open. The, I say the altar is open. Come, we're going to pray together. I'm going to pray. Listen, I'm praying. Come, the altar. Come, the altar is open. See when I do a new thing. I'm tired of Hi, I'm Pastor Arthur Kennedy. We want to thank you for joining us today at Abundant Faith Church of Integrity, where every day we are bigger, better, and bolder. This year is all about seeking the kingdom in high definition. If you were blessed by the word today and would like to donate, we have two ways you can give. You can scan the QR code to give Giveify, or you can also text AFCI in the amount you want to give to 73256. Thank you. I wonder why they're so jealous in there. Why are you confused? They're supposed to be jealous of you. They wanted that job. They wanted that favor. They wanted that position. They wanted.